guys welcome back to country views i have another great recipe for you guys today it is my pizza lasagna so let's get started all right guys so right here i have one pound of ground chuck you guys can use any kind of ground beef you like um this is just what we prefer in our pizza lasagna it's really good if you'd rather use pork sausage you can use that as well but what you want to do is as it's cooking you want to chop it up really well now i'm going to let that continue to cook and i'm going to go to my next step the next step is two pinches of salt okay two pinches of pepper all right and then you're going to use some onion powder of your choice and i'm cooking this on a medium heat if you're in a hurry you can turn the heat up um it's just hamburger meat you're grounding Put as much onion seasoning as you want. Um, I have this Italian seasoning. I'm gonna do probably about a tablespoon of it because this is what makes your sauce. All right, so we're gonna just put in a bunch of this, like so. All right, that was about a tablespoon, I think. Now, we're going to come over here and we're going to add some beef bouillon and you're going to see why later in the video why i'm doing that you're going to add about a teaspoon i want to do more than a teaspoon because you do not want it overly salty um i kind of just guessed the measurements that was a little bit more than a teaspoon but that's okay now my next step is going to be my garlic powder use any brand of garlic powder you like and while i'm doing this thank you for my friends and family revisiting our channel um, we greatly appreciate it thank you country view juniors for being part of this as well and for you newcomers thank you for visiting us don't forget to like and subscribe on the videos all right so i'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of garlic powder in here like that okay guys now my next step is you're going to want to add about two cloves of minced up garlic um i have it already minced so i'm using about a tablespoon let's add a little more i don't mind the extra garlic you can never have too much garlic okay so i also added a half of onion finely sliced up minced however you want to do it is fine um just make sure you chop your meat up really well if you like the bigger chunks that's fine as well and you want to just keep cooking this until the meat looks done and then when that's done i will show you the next step to this pizza lasagna all right guys so my meat looks just about done about the way i want it now what your next step is going to be is i like to make my sauce homemade from time to time so that's what i'm doing today I'm gonna add two cans of tomato sauce. Use any brand you like. So just add that in, save your cans because I'm gonna show you what to do next so you can get every bit of the tomato sauce in there, okay? Now you're gonna stir this up real good with your meat. all right now you're gonna let that simmer well i go over here and get a bottle of okay, water so remember i told you guys to save your tomato cans you're gonna put your bottle of water in use whatever bottle of water you prefer okay 
And this kind of helps get the rest of the tomato sauce out. Now, whatever you have left of your bottle of water, you're gonna just add in here. Now this feeds four servings. It is just me and my husband today, so I'm just making the four servings. Now, if you have a larger family, just double the servings, okay guys, friends and family. Now what you wanna do is you wanna give this a good stir now. Stir it up real good, okay? And then you're going to crank your heat up a little bit, a little bit past your medium heat, okay? Meanwhile, I got my oven preheating to 375, okay? Now, you're gonna just take your pinky or a spoon, however you prefer, and you're gonna taste it and see if it's seasoned enough. Now, I feel like it needs a little more salt and a little more pepper. So you're basically just seasoned to taste, seasoned to taste when you're making your homemade sauce, okay? And if you don't make a mess, then what's the fun of cooking? Now, I'm gonna put my lid on here and let it simmer when it gets to the consistency that it needs to be at, I'll show you guys the next step. All right, guys, so I'm gonna show you the next step while my sauce simmers. I have two eggs here that I'm gonna be cracking into this bowl separate from your lasagna dish here, okay? So you're gonna crack two. Um, a lot of people, though, use one. I like to use two just because I feel like it helps bind it more. Um, now into your two eggs here, okay? You're gonna take you a whisk or fork, however you prefer, and you're gonna whisk it before you add your cottage cheese to it. All right, just give it a quick whisk. Now meanwhile, I get the 16 ounce container of 1% low fat cottage cheese. And I'm gonna add that whole container into my egg. And it's okay to use the fork you used for your egg because it's all going together in your casserole here. All right. And just a little savings tip if you're a mama, it's good to save these containers because you can reuse them to put leftovers in. All right, so now you're gonna just start stirring your egg and your cottage cheese together. I know this doesn't look very appetizing, but it is so good at the end once it's all done and comes together. It's so delicious and so divine. All right, now to this mixture, I'm gonna get my Italian herbs and I'm gonna add a couple dashes of that to this mixture. One, two, do about four dashes, okay? Uh, four dashes or four pinches, that's fine. And I forgot to tell you guys earlier um, when I was talking about if you're new to our channel. Also too, the subscribe button is down below the video. And just hit that and then go over to the side and there's a bell notification. Click that and that will let you know when there's a new video uploaded every time. All right, so to this mixture now, I'm gonna add a little bit of Parmesan, okay? You can use fresh, you can use out of the container. I always just use what I have on hand, okay? Wait till you guys see what the twist is on this pizza lasagna, you're going to love it. All right, so that's all stirred up. So now I'm just gonna set this to the side. I'm gonna come over here and stir my sauce, so just stay with me here, guys. Oh yeah, okay. I gotta bring you guys over here to look at this sauce. Look how good this sauce is coming. That's about what consistency you want because the runniness is gonna help cook your noodles. 
Oh, did I tell you this is a one pan lasagna? You dump it into your casserole dish with your layers and boom, you bake it, you're done. All right, so now my sauce looks done. So now I'm gonna show you guys the next step. So just bear with me, okay? I'm going to shut my sauce off. And what I'm gonna do is just set me up a little working station here. All right, guys, so now I got my working station set up. My sauce is over here next to me. It's the right consistency. Now, you're gonna wanna get you some lasagna noodles. Any brand will work. I always get the Great Value brand. It's a lot less costly and it tastes just as good as all the other brands. It's great, great job, Great Value. Now, you can either get the oven ready or the regular. It doesn't matter because your sauce is going to cook it. So now the first step you're going to do is you're going to put some of your sauce right on bottom of your pan here. Okay. And put a good layer because this is what's going to help your noodles cook. All right. I think a few more be good here. Okay, so now basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna layer your noodles in, and this actually looks like it's gonna be the perfect size. I always go in with my sides first and then my middle. I don't know why I've always done that. All right, so now you're gonna add some more of your meat sauce mixture. And if you like it more meaty, you can add more meat. That's perfectly fine. Make sure you coat the noodles really well because there again, this is what's gonna help cook your noodles, okay? So you just keep layering it on here till you have the right amount that you want, okay? All right, so now what I like to do next is I like to go in for the cottage cheese mixture. And I like to put dollops. One, two, three, four, and then one in the middle. That's about half of your bowl. And then it's easier for you to spread out to this way, okay? And don't worry, if, you, if it doesn't look like it's not enough, it will be. Once it's all cooked and comes together, it'll be enough, I promise. Okay? I know you guys are probably waiting, well, where's the pizza part? It's coming up, friends and family. It's coming up, I promise. So here's my little twist. I like to get these little pepper jack singles, and I like to put them on there, okay? So I just take them out like this. All right, and I kind of just layer them on there. The pepper jack cheese gives it a really good flavor. I really enjoy it. It's, it's really, really good, guys. All right, so I just go in with my corners first, like this. By the way, friends and family, I'm really enjoying our new kitchen. It is a lot bigger. I love it. I'll do a video and show you guys around the new place once it's all put together. I'm still unpacking. Um, I'm kind of unpacking a little bit here and there. I'm a busy person. Plus, my husband works six days a week, so it's kind of hard to try to get everything done as quick as I'm wanting it to. Okay, so your next step now is going to be your pepperoni. Here is your pizza part, okay? You're gonna layer your pepperoni on. All right. And I'm telling you, this pepperoni is good. It is so good in this lasagna. You're not gonna wanna eat it any other way. 
I got my family started on this and they don't want it any other way. Now you guys probably have been wondering, how come you don't see the kids much? Well, they have moved out on their own. They have their own little family going on, but they still come over on the weekends quite a bit and brings our grandson with them. And he is definitely a keeper. He is so cute and he is a mama and papa's boy. We love him so much. Okay, and then I think one more will do it. And that looks like a thick one here. Now we're gonna go in with our mozzarella cheese. You can use any brand you want. I just get the big bags most of the time and I just put them into smaller baggies because you can freeze them. All right. So there's that part, okay guys? Now, you just wanna sprinkle just a little bit of Parmesan on, all right? Don't overdo the Parmesan because it's real salty. All right, and I just gotta swing over here to my sink because I dropped my spoon down in the sauce. All right, so now we're gonna put some more sauce on top of this mixture. Because your, your key to this is your, you want it saucy and meaty, but you want enough sauce to cook your noodles, but you don't want too much sauce because then it's going to be runny. Okay? Now make sure you guys are preheating your oven. If you're making this while I'm making it, make sure your oven's on preheat. Okay, guys? Now, my next layer consists of some more noodles. So right on top here, see how they start to come together a little better as you get to the top? Okay. Now your next step is gonna be sauce again, okay? And I, this is just great, guys. I'm telling you, this is just so great. I get tongue twisted a lot because a lot of my dishes that I make is so good, I honestly don't know how to, to describe them to you guys. Because, I mean, they are amazing. They're so good. All right, so I have just enough sauce left for the top. So let's go ahead and get this second layer on, okay? So now we're going to do cottage cheese again. Okay. And I'm actually going to put the rest on here because this is going to be the last layer besides the top piece. And actually, I do need that spoon to spread it around. All right. So I was talking to you guys about how we have a new place and we moved and all this. Well, we are officially Ohioans. And I am loving being an Ohioan. Comment below if you are an Ohioan and you love being an Ohioan, okay guys? All right, so back with the pepper jack cheese. If you have pepper jack shred, that's fine just as well. This is what I like using because it helps bind everything the slices does. And it's easier to cut your little squares too, okay? I hope you guys are getting a good view of this. I wish you could smell it in here. It smells divine. Like I'm ready to eat it just the way it is, but I know I have to cook it first. <laughs> All right, and then I have just one slice left. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna break it in half and stick it right in the middle here. So that way there's a little cheesy goodness in every bite. All right. Now you're gonna do your pepperoni again. All right. I'm trying to move a little quicker here so the video ain't so long for you guys. All 
right. And like I say in all my other videos as well, friends and families, um, I know I repeat it a lot. Um, it's because we have a lot of new subscribers and I don't want them to miss out on anything. Um, but if there's a recipe you would like to learn how to make, just comment on one of my videos below what it is and ask me if I have a good recipe for it. I mean, I'm sure I'll come up with one. I'm a fabulous cook, you guys. We're gonna make this piece extra pepperoni here since it's our last layer. All right, now we're gonna do the rest of our mozzarella. Now keep in mind, you do not wanna put cheese on your top layer, only your meat sauce, because you do not want your cheese to burn, because this is gonna be in the oven for close to an hour, 45 minutes to an hour, okay? Now add the rest of your Parmesan. Now, if you're not a fan of cottage cheese, I forgot to tell you guys earlier, you can always use ricotta, but if you use ricotta, keep out the salt. All right, so now you're gonna put your last noodles on. Isn't that looking good, guys? I bet you can't wait to try it with me. All right, so what I do is I kind of give it a push to make sure it's on there firmly. And I'm gonna add the rest of my sauce, okay? Now, if it's real full like mine, you might wanna put a cookie sheet underneath it or aluminum foil. Either one works just as equally good. And just use whatever sauce you have to lay over the top, as long as it's not a bunch bunch. Because like I said earlier, you guys do not want to overdo the sauce because you don't want a runny lasagna. And another key to your lasagna too, once you pull it out of the oven, you want to let it sit 30 minutes to an hour, letting it set up so that way when you cut into it, it's not going to fall apart on you as much. Okay. I mean, look at all that. I'm going to go ahead and just bring my pan over here and just add the rest of my sauce on right in the middle. And I'm going to try to keep it from the edges. I might have to do the cookie sheet thing with my lasagna because I made it kind of full, but that's okay. It's going to help cook the noodles. All right. So now what I like to do is I like to cover this with aluminum foil for the first 30 minutes at my 375 degree oven. Once it's been in there for 30 minutes, you wanna take it out, take the foil off and stick it back in for another 30 to 45 minutes depending on how your oven is. So I'm gonna walk over here and grab my foil. All right, and just cover this really, really well, okay? Sometimes it helps if you turn your ends in, it helps keep the foil on better. That's what I always do. All right, so now I'm going to Stick this in my 375 degree oven for the first 30 minutes with the aluminum foil on it. All right, guys, so I have it in the oven. I'm gonna show you guys what it will look like when I pull it out in 30 minutes to take the foil off. So just stay tuned, okay, guys? All right, guys, so I pulled the lasagna out of the oven to take the aluminum foil off. It's been in there for about 45 minutes. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like with the aluminum foil. So here it is. And I'm just gonna gradually take it off because it is gonna steam. 
Oh my gosh, guys, look at that. Ooh. Ooh, that's so good looking. All right, so at this point, you're gonna stick it back in your oven at 375 for another 30 minutes. Pull it out, let it sit for at least 30 minutes, and then it's time for a taste test. All right, guys, I have the lasagna out of the oven. It has been sitting and cooling for an hour now. Now it's time to dig in. So here it is. And we toasted up some everything bagels and bread and just put a little garlic and butter and parsley on it. That's how we like to eat our lasagna. So, I'm going to plate up a plate here. I'm gonna to try to do this here so you guys can see. All right, here we go. Let's see if we can get the first piece out without breaking it, guys. Oh, there it is. Oh my gosh, look at that, you guys. Look at that. Tell me if that is not delicious looking. Oh my gosh, look at that. That looks so amazing. And then we take a little piece of our everything bread. Let's take it over here to taste test. All right, so there's my plate of food. Let's go in for the taste test. And sorry about my lighting in here, guys. It's kind of dark here. Let's see if I can get a piece of everything in my bite. All right. Look at that, guys. Want a bite? I know you do. Mmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. A little piece of bread with it. Mm, mm. Guys, this is out of this world. You have to make it. Mm -hmm. It is delicious. It'd be even great for your king or your queen. On that note, love you guys. Bye.